It doesn't really matter if you live in a hot or cold climate. Feeling cold in your feet could be indicating that there's something wrong with your body and it's not working well. I've seen people complain about how much their feet feel cold and even during the summer. Some people sleep with socks or even feel uncomfortable during the day because something is not feeling right. There's always cold on their feet. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal five top reasons why you might be experiencing cold feet and how to reverse it naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. This channel is a conventional doctor to treat patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see your notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need all important quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to the tips and video links related to this topic. You have to be very conscious that feeling cold on your feet is not a normal body's response. This should always be a fact of concern because feeling your feet cold is actually a symptom of something else going on. This could always be a symptom of conditions, health conditions and diseases, including thyroid function or malfunction, diabetes, anemia, and others. Conditions that if not treated soon enough, you can worsen not only the condition on your feet, but your kidneys, liver, and other organs as well. The secret lies in knowing what are some of the most common causes for feeling cold in your feet and what to do with them before it's too late. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal five top reasons why you might be experiencing cold feet and how to reverse it naturally and effectively. Number one, poor circulation. Poor circulation is one of the most common causes of feeling cold in your feet. You see, circulation is in charge of taking not only blood, but also warmth to every single part of your body. Sometimes when the temperature outside drops, for example, your body usually keeps the work going and keeps that core warmth, but also within the extremities, because if not, then you'll be having problems. Blood vessels might constrict on your extremities, but that doesn't mean that you can start feeling cold on your feet. If your metabolic rate is, is well and well functioning, this should not be happening. In this case, the brain, the heart, the lungs, and internal organs have to make sure that that metabolic rate is still functioning. And that goes for every single part of your body, including your feet. So make sure that your metabolic rate and circulation are well functioning. Make sure that your high blood pressure or low blood pressure are non-existent because you have to have a good circulatory health to make sure that your feet have that good temperature you need. If you need something natural to improve that metabolic rate and that circulatory health, look for metathyroid, vein flow, and on cardio from Fineland at drlandivar.com. Number two, poor thyroid function. If you're feeling and you're sensitive to cold, you might have a thyroid condition. You see, the heat produced in our bodies and the metabolic rate you have are a byproduct of the burning of calories. The thing is that these calories cannot be burnt if your thyroid doesn't tell them to do so, your cells to do so. Your thyroid hormones are the ones that have to be dictating how fast that metabolic rate should be going or working. In other words, your thyroid is telling or should be telling your cells how much fat they should be burning, how much heat they should be producing. And if your thyroid is not working, then you will feel cold in your, in your feet. If you need something natural for this purpose to make sure that, the, that your thyroid is well functioning, and at the same time that metabolic rate is actually the way it should be, without that cold feet sensation you're now suffering, look for metathyroid and neuromatrix from Fineland at drlandivar.com. Number three, it could be diabetes. Diabetes is probably one of the one of the worst conditions that might be an underlying cause for your cold feet. People with diabetes may be at a risk for circulatory problems, for damage with their nerve function on their feet, and obviously, at the same time, that metabolic rate. You see, the increase in sugar and cholesterol slowly damages blood flow to the areas of the body where circulation is most vulnerable, in this case, the extremities. This is why diabetic patients can either have their toes or even their feet amputated because things get out of control and circulatory health is non-functioning 
at these extremities. These people usually start feeling cold in the feet, not knowing that what's really happening is that there's a reduction in circulation and blood flow and a nutrient administration that is, in def is deficient. Now, we would all argue that the worst part about diabetes is actually the nerve damage these people can actually see. Diabetic patients frequently suffer from neuropathies, as they're called, which is a condition where the nerves, especially in the distal areas of the body, get damaged without return. So be very careful with diabetes. Be very careful with the control of sugar and be very careful with the loss of your nerve functions. If you need something natural to regenerate your nerves due to the damage with diabetes and improve that sensation and that cold sensation, numbness or tingling you might have on your feet, look for Neuromatrix, Appleizer and Metathyroid from Fineland at DrLandyBar.com. Number four, you might be anemic. Anemia is the last condition anyone would think about, but it's very common, very, very common. Our bodies usually tend to get used to being anemic, and this is why sometimes this is the last thing we would think about of having if we have cold feet. Having cold feet could be a sign that you're anemic and you should get yourself checked. This basically means that you don't have enough blood or enough red blood cells to fuel the tissues and the feet with oxygen that generate heat and energy which is also a very important factor. You may even see that your entire body is a little pale maybe, your face is pale, you feel a little cold more than often than you used to. This could also be a sign of anemia. If you need something natural to help with anemia, that has all the vitamins and minerals, including the best iron sources and fruit and vegetable extracts, look for Green Shot and Multivitamin from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Number five, Renaud's syndrome. And this is probably the most serious health condition you could be experiencing if you have cold feet. Renaud's syndrome is basically a, a condition where you overreact to cold. When the temperature drops, your fingers and toes may feel numb and frozen. They often e even see a change in color, first pale and then blue. And they warm up eventually, but that condition can get worse over time. Cold weather, air conditioning, stress, anxiety, all these can bring attacks. And if you have Renaud's syndrome, then there may be problems with some of the arteries, blood vessels that carry the blood onto your feet to make sure that you have that temperature well balanced. You can take something to help improve it. Make sure that you reduce inflammation, take something like Curcule Health from Fineland, something that can improve nerve function to make sure that, circu that circulatory health is always uh, healthy, something like Neuromatrix from Fineland at Dr. Later Barnacle. And help out the channel by giving us a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or an online appointment, visit DrLandyBarnacle.com and check out these other videos where it's your stopping directions that it might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.